Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a tour of the ultimate underground base. Now, if you're wondering how I did this, at the end of the video, I will include a short how-to section for those of you that are interested. Thank you guys for once again voting on the poll and choosing the theme of this build. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe and get involved in choosing what I build next. Also, in this build, there is a hidden element. We'll see if you guys can find it at the end of the video. I will show you what it is. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tour. All right, now let's take a tour of the ultimate underground base. Now, the first thing you're going to see is, of course, the bridge as we go across. Uh, the bridge has a lot of little details. We've got nice details on the floor, nice details on the little standing brazier holders. Also, of course, the nice details up above us. I'll give you guys a nice little side view really quick. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time out here because I want to get into the cave, but you can see we've got some little elements which stick out into the ground, kind of flare out into the ground. The inner peak is kind of double lined because there's two snapping points. So that one kind of looks a little bit different than the outer ones. I think that's a really nice detail. And uh, here's a little view of underneath just in case you were curious. So now let's go ahead and head inside the cave. As we get up close, you can see we've got a pretty sweet entrance. Uh, motor trophy. Mo you know, I don't really know how to say, say mo modair, motor, modar. I, I don't know. But, you know, we got a sweet little entrance here with an awesome dragon head up above. Double layered uh, door frame kind of thing going on. Double layered item stand. And then we can enter into the ultimate cave base. Now, first thing you're going to see is these super tall ceilings. This room is massive. And we've got a whole nother massive room down the hallway. This is the biggest underground base I've ever seen in Valheim. And especially the biggest underground base uh, ever actually fully completed in Valheim. So that's why I've been calling it the ultimate underground base. But let's talk about some things inside. So first of all, we've got a double layered wall here to create a little bit of depth uh, for the entrance. We've got a storage cart to go to the forest and back, you know, using the bridge. Over here, we've got the crafting table set up. We've got the forge table set up right there. But the crafting table set up, you'll see that We've got a little cubby here. We've got a lot of these little cubbies for uh, tucking things away. You'll see these all over the place. So we'll be talking about those a lot. Uh, we've got a nice pillar here to kind of cap off the end of the wall. And you can see the wall actually kind of curves. This is one of my favorite elements of this cave is the walls and kind of how everything comes together, I guess you could say. Uh, you can see this wall curves, then this wall is curving, this wall is curving, and so is uh, the hallway and pretty much every wall. Then the ceilings are left exposed, the floors are turned into stone. Just the theme in here, I think, came out really, really nice. So here is the workbench setup, here is the forge table setup. We've got some stone tucked away, coal tucked away. We've got some wood tucked away. Nice little wall of banners there on that side. Over here, we've got our curving wall. So of course, we've got our curving staircase, which leads up to the loft. I wanted to do something up here, but as you can see, the rocks kind of cut it off. So here we just have a storage area. Storage tucked up top, tall storage, which then goes to shorter and shorter and shorter. I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, some more storage tucked away up top. So if this was like a survival base, this would be a really nice storage area to have, which is completely out of the way. Uh, then we have our fermenter set up here on the right, tucked into one of the cubbies in the wall, which I absolutely love. And also some displayed potions down here. You could store them up here or you could store them here, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then also we have the chandelier. Um, you know, I, I've never really made a chandelier in Valheim, so I'm sorry if you think this is really crappy. I know that... Uh, some people have gone all out with chandeliers in Valheim. This was my first attempt ever, so I just added some yellow mushrooms for some nice glowing lights and some root masks on the outside and then the brazier here, which kind of creates too much smoke for in here. You can't really see a lot of things, so it's just here for, uh, for looks, basically. And then we can head down the hallway. You'll see that we've got a couple cubbies here as we go. Uh, you can actually open and close this iron gate to have a little treasure room right there. Uh, lit up ward here really nice feature it really lights up this cubby over here we've got an armor and weapon cubby with a hidden sconce back behind it 
uh, serpent shield and porcupine which i thought were a really great feature for their own cubby behind a sealed iron gate and once again a little treasure cubby and then we come into the second room which is once again pretty massive uh, we've got all sorts of details in this room hopefully i will cover them all but first things first we've got an artisan table set up here we've got some details on the walls as we come around to here it's kind of like the little bedroom right here so you have a little desk you could get some work done bedroom with like i don't know this is supposed to be like a bedside table i guess <laughs> but it doesn't really look like that but whatever uh here is supposed to be like after a long day's work, maybe you could like put all your tools down and then go to sleep. Um, up here is after a long day's work, you could take a bath. So you can see the wall itself is flat and then it curves into the cave wall, which I absolutely love how this came out. You can see we've got some drapes here to kind of add a little bit of extra privacy back here. Uh, bench so that you can take off your boots, armor stand to hang up your armor. And a little thing here to set your tankard while you're taking a bath. Uh, you know, a little seating area over here. Basically just kind of like a bath area and, uh, you know, shower area, whatever you want to call it. Over here we've got some kind of trophy cases, I guess. Uh, basically I just chose like the some of the fancy weapons that kind of light up and put them here. The gates obviously do work, so if you want to uh, open the gate and change those out, you can. We've got some storage here. And then we head over into kind of the kitchen and dining room area. The fireplace itself is pretty sweet. You can see it kind of sticks out here and here has iron poles supporting. These are obviously just cosmetic. And the inside we've got two cauldrons and an iron cooking station so you can do all the cooking you want to do. Uh, this left cauldron is fully upgraded. Butcher's table, spice rack, pots and pans. We've got a little deer trophy and the ultimate deer trophy up top. A couple extra little details here and there. Uh, this is more like the dining room, so uh, we still have an oven over here, so you can still do some cooking over here, but you can see we've got storage for food, food on display in the back, bucket of berries on the side, and also we've got uh, some miscellaneous little things on the table to kind of make it look uh, realistic. Um, as we go this way, we've got a little, you know, wall here with a couple of shields, and we have the portal, which I guess was destroyed again by a gray dwarf, so give me one second. Nope, I'm just an idiot, and I have a piece of iron in my inventory. Check this out. So this is a portal tucked into the wall. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of hate it when I accidentally walk into a portal, so this kind of eliminates that as a problem altogether. If you want to go somewhere, you open this, and boom, you can go through it. And of course, you know, you could make this go anywhere. Right now, I just have it going to the outside, but now we can take it back in. And boom, we are back inside. And of course, you can just close the iron gate again and you have a little tucked away uh, portal in the wall. I thought that was kind of cool. So now I can show you guys the deck, check it out. So here you can see, this is the same thing as the front entrance, but it's kind of crappy because it's shoved into this tiny space. So we won't talk about that too much. Uh, but the outdoor deck you can see is pretty sweet. It kind of curves into the cliff. The rock itself is sticking out way far enough, like I didn't need to create all this infrastructure, but I thought it looked really cool. I'll show you guys an outside shot of it. Uh, I just think that this is a really nice addition so that on the outside of the cave base, it's not just a bridge. You also have a cool little outdoor deck. And uh, yeah, there's also a little table here and some seating so you can enjoy the views of the river or the forest or your bridge or whatever you want to do. Now we can head back inside. That is pretty much everything on the inside though. Uh, the real question is, did you guys notice where the hidden exit to the cave was? I'll go ahead and I'll take you down back to the other room where it is, quick hint. Uh, you probably saw it, it's not the most hidden thing, uh, but you can see right here behind these banners we have some vines and behind the vines we have a hidden exit to the outside. I just thought this was an interesting little feature to add. Uh, you know, there's only so much you can do with what we have in Valheim, but it looks pretty cool and you can see with the new mod that I started using in the last video called Infinity Hammer, I can place whatever nature I want. So you can see I kind of surrounded it with uh, little shrubs and things so that if you were walking through the forest you wouldn't you know it wouldn't be obvious it would just seem like you know a really like there's a lot of stuff over there like that's kind of maybe that would be kind of weird actually now that i think about it <laughs> but you know it is hidden though that was the idea uh, but other than that i think this is honestly the ultimate valheim cave base i've never seen anything this large and, and nowhere near 
uh, this decorated. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we'll switch over into the how to section of the video. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I turned this hole into this. What you need to do first is go to Nexus Mods and grab the mod Infinity Hammer. This mod is very easy to install and very easy to use. You can see I've selected this very large rock over here with the mod and I'm gonna bring it over and fill up my cave with it. The cave design for me is two large rooms with a hallway connecting it. You can do whatever you want. And what you wanna do is grab a large rock with the mod and fill in your cave. This is rock for forest. There's also a coastal rock you can use for this and there's also a copper vein you can use for this. I felt like this was the best rock for the situation. Now you can see that I'm stacking this very large rock four times in the hole. Now I know it looks a bit ridiculous right now, but you'll see in a moment why I'm doing this. I'm gonna get rid of the lower three rocks and now what is exposed is the bottom of this rock which is normally deep in the ground. This part of the rock we're gonna cut away to make the opening for the cave. All right, then you wanna fill the rest of your cave with the same method, four rocks tall each time, deleting the rocks down below when you're done. Now what you wanna do is make a backup of the world and then start cutting out your rock. In this stage, I did all of the safe cuts. So the cuts that are down low, all right, now you can see that I've cleared out the cave. Now you wanna make another backup and now you can start doing the riskier cuts on the walls. All right, so once you get rid of the rocks on the walls, you wanna make one final backup and now you can do the riskiest cuts, which are the cuts for the ceiling. This is where I did actually finally make a mistake, which made me load a backup, but that is it. Now you have a massive open cave to work with in Valheim. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the tricks that I used inside of the build. First things first, we have this pillar right here. These are very easy. Place a two meter pole, then rotate twice, and then place a pole just like this. Rotate twice again, place a pole just like this. Rotate twice again, place a pole just like this. As you can see, we're creating the pillar shape. Go all the way around, and then you can add more layers on top to create your pillar. Next, I wanna show you how I stacked chests. I just talked about this in the last episode, uh, so I won't spend too long on it, but basically, as long as you're placing your chest with something behind it, you can then take a uh, beam and you can shift click. See, that's too far actually back behind. You need to have a little bit of space. Uh, this is probably too much space now, but this is just for an example. You can see I can shift click where this beam is just barely exposed and then that's going to allow me to place a chest onto that beam. You can do that as tall as you want. And then over here you can see that we've got uh, standing iron torches in the bed. Place the bed and then you can slide the torches in. No trick there. Over here we have a bucket of berries and you can see there is a hidden beam back behind these berries just like with the chest. Place the item stands on the hidden beam and you can place the berries in the forge cooler. Over here we've got a platter of berries. This is pretty easy. What we're going to do here is take advantage of the fact that you can stack item stands. So we're going to make a shape like this and you want one in the middle. This is pretty ugly but this is just an example. On the outside item stands you want to go around for a second layer and then also a third layer of item stands. Alright, then you want to take your plain wooden shield, place it on the middle lowest item stand. Then place your blueberries going all the way around. Since those ones on the outside are three tall, they're gonna look like they're sitting on top of the shield. But now you need to get a blueberry in the middle. So then get out your item stands once again, look down at the center of the shield and place two more item stands. And then you can fill in the last blueberry. All right, that is that for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. More coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And of course, don't forget to participate in those community polls so that you guys can choose what I build next. And of course, as always, have a good one.